Hi everybody, Medical Gardener. It's a beautiful day out and I'm going to show you the garden today. I'm really excited just for you to see what's going on. The dog may be joining me. You can really smell the fertilizer. I've been fertilizing everything. Let me turn this around. All right. So you've seen this before. You can see how beautiful the carrots and the parsnips are doing in there. Um, those are asparagus on the outside. And, you know, those aren't going to be ready to eat maybe in another year or so. Who knows in Florida how long it takes for things like that. But you can see the shoots shooting up, the asparagus. And... Uh, these I, I always use my pea tendrils for my salads, but you can see these beautiful purple peas. They're so good. And I, I let a lot of my herbs go to seed because, well, first of all, you can still use them. I like how the flowers taste, but the bees and the bugs like it, so it's nice for them. Um, the ivy is really taking off the fig ivy, so we love that. The dragon fruit, look at this really coming alive. And my flowers, they're, they're, they've been blooming for weeks, so, um, but new ones are coming in, so that's how that goes. Again, I just fertilized the flowers. And I put some marigolds up here. This is a pretty harsh place for anything if I, other than cactus, but the marigolds seem to, you know, they're they're kind of like, you know, your grandma's flower. But they are, you know, the thing about marigolds is that they, you can count on them. So I just watered and it's already dry. And the cactuses are looking good. This is what Larry and Steve do all day long. Okay, the chives. So I told you that we were going to take these antennas, or um, it's actually for uh, Joe's antenna for the ham radio, and they never got used. So now I'm using it for some new passion fruit to, uh, to climb it. And then I have one over here, too. And then I'm going to get some rebar and attach it across and then create like a an archway here and bee balm down there and of course my fennel Just bees and butterflies are showing up there's the bamboo I'll tell you the sun's harsh this year I can see what it's doing to the vegetables um, grand solar minimum all my onions. So I'm using tomato cages to protect things that the dog might get into or any animal. Oh, and I want to show you this. They call this cat crack. <laughs> I just planted it. Is it called terium or something? I, I grabbed the label so I could put it down there. Yeah, it's called... Uh, Turium marum. You see that? So we'll put that down there. But I'm protecting protecting it right now. It's a small plant from the dog. So I found a use for those tomato cages. Look at this fruit tree. What's wrong with me? I can't remember the name of this this fruit starts with a J. What the hell? Oh, it's delicious too. It's my neighbors. It's so good. Mmm. What's this called again, you guys? Because I planted two of them. I'll tell you, when you get older, look at my bottle brush tree. I want to plant another one over here. 
Larry and the cat. My hibiscus I just fertilized. Make some hibiscus tea. More bamboo growing. Hibiscus. Really need to trim these. My cactuses. I have a new one. So the flower's starting to die back. Those beautiful little bell-like flowers. He's getting a lot of babies. This pancake cactus. Look at all the babies on top. You can see all these flowering now. Sorry about the sirens and the dog. Oh my God. That's a new cactus. It's called a pencil cactus. My pot broke, so we're gluing that together tomorrow. Larry! Larry! It's enough! Still working on getting this to thread through the archway. That hibiscus, still working on it. Oh my God. Could it be noisier for this video? These flowers are dying back. It's time for new flowers in the pot. So all these pots you see with dirt, I, put, I planted with wildflowers. I'm just gonna be growing my vegetables now in the raised beds. So I'm just finishing up with that broccoli over there, but all these pots are gonna be wildflowers. I already planted them. This is uh, Spanish oregano, which is heaven. I have so much fruit on this passion fruit vine. Look at that flower. There's the universe right there. You don't grow those in Michigan. So I just planted in here and I amended the soil, uh, planted bok choy. Uh, I used the Asian garden to table seeds. So I planted kohlrabi and Chinese lettuce. So it's all been, you know, there's my celery still kicking butt. There's my garlic coming up. Uh, the scallions I'll be pulling up over the next week. And then over here was is where I uh, planted the kohlrabi. Look at that little keiko. Yep, there he went. Some herbs. Wildflowers in that pot. passion fruit. Larry, come on, just did this. Doesn't that look great? Remember I had the sweet potatoes here? Let me get Larry. He's getting big. Come on, Larry. Come on, Larry. Come on. <laughs> come on, Larry. Come on. Come on out. You'd rather be with a cat. Come on. All right. So I've got this from a neighbor and planted these and I'll continue on and fill in with the rocks. And then the, uh, gra the palms in back will grow to be eight feet tall. The, the, it's like grassy palms. And I think I'm gonna put another grass right there. But yeah, I love how this is looking. And then these were the house plants that the cats wouldn't leave alone, and so I have them out here now. Planted 
300 ground cover starts. You can see them all through here. So the ground cover will grow in between and over the rocks. It'll look really pretty. I have a, I'm going to wait to plant that bed for another month because these beds here I'm going to be using for eggplant and okra and, and peppers. So I'm not putting them in yet. My fruit trees are all flowering so beautifully. Here's a plant neighbor was selling. I picked this up, snake plant. Some flowers. Can't wait till that starts blooming again. Look all the flowers coming up in here. My passion ivy. Well, you can see it's all starting to fill out. I'm gonna get a couple of bushes too that are kind of ground covery. This is um, this. I planted one here and one uh, down at the other end, if you can see it. Let's see if I can pull the tag out for this. It's like called an arium, but it's a flowering bush. And I'll put it below and uh, because I do have the label. This is a mango. I'm trying this again because the winter killed my other one. It's all my fruit trees. My pineapple plant is popping a new pineapple. So I put pots here with these, um, uh, you know, grates that um, something can climb. And in the pots, I planted a flowering bean. So we'll see how that does. Just planted that yesterday. Here's that tree. What, why am I spacing this? Oh. Larry dug this out, so I'll be putting a bigger, bushier plant in there. You can see on my canna, I have canna flowers everywhere in here that are starting to come back now and when they start blooming they're going to be beautiful i want to put more in banana trees lots i want a lot more flowers purples reds oranges a real jewel garden over here it's come a long way hasn't it everyone so here's another one of those flowering bushes i talked about down here. And I have some Brussels sprouts growing over there. Rhubarb, too hot for rhubarb. I don't know why I even bothered. Oh, my two mulberry trees, they came back with a vengeance. Look at them. Um, I just, I've got that um, tomato cage over this one because Larry was digging the dirt a little bit, so just to discourage that. Another plant got from a neighbor. Look at my fig tree. Isn't he gorgeous? What does he like to be fertilized? Now, I, I don't over fertilize. I do like, I think it's three times a year for this. So remember, I made a chart when to fertilize what. And then I have different fertilizers for different things. Now for my food, I use worm castings. And then I do bump it up with some other fertilizer. Always organic. Loving it. And that pot right there, I'm going to do more wildflowers in it. This plant back here is getting so tall. So nice having woods right next to me. And I just fertilized these hibiscus trees behind, which I don't think anyone has done for years. So we're, I'm trying to get those amped up again. Okay, you've seen everything. This is what it looks like when you sit down and have your coffee in the morning. I'll show you. 
See? All those pots are going to have wildflowers. Oh, yeah, that neighbor got rid of a spider plant that I put over there, too. That's what's nice about Florida. You can put indoor plants outdoors. Yeah, that's what I sit and look at. Have my coffee. Hope you enjoyed that. Isn't it great to be able to grow your own food? So rewarding. But I'm really into these tropical plants. I mean, and I want lots of tropical flowers. So I've been doing really well with crypto money, you guys. Let me take some of that crypto money to go get a whole buttload of plants. <sighs> that would be the irresponsible thing to do, but why should I start being responsible now? I'm 70. I can do what I want, right? I'm so glad I came down here. <sighs> Especially with the wacky weather. It's just been... I just love it here. We'll see what I think after hurricane season, but... Last year wasn't bad at all. I mean, nothing came through here at all that I remember. I mean, it was a really windy weekend, but that was about it. I do wish Joe was here to really enjoy it like I'm enjoying it because he loved tropical climates. I mean, that's really, really was his thing. But he gets to enjoy it through me, right? Yeah. All right, everyone. So... Start planting, and if you're in those, uh, you know, those colder northern zones, you know that you can always grow indoors, you can set up grow lights. Remember what I was doing in Michigan? I had food going all the time, and uh, I was even growing food in my basement. You know, you get your grow lights, you get the right soil, and uh, it'll take a minute to figure it out. You're going to have to figure out, like, how far should the light be from, you know, what you're trying to grow, and what have you, and you've got to remember to water, and that's that's really hard to remember when it's, you know, the middle of winter. Um, and remember we kept all our tropical plants in the garage? You know, I mean, I brought some of those plants down here with me, so don't let the weather discourage you. You know, it, it gives you something really wonderful to do and just stay connected to nature, even though it might be in your house. What a wonderful way to, to really, you know, stay connected, right? So anyways, uh, Radical Gardener, from my garden to yours, may your garden always grow. What do you think I should do about that dog? And you know that I'm sending you a ton of love. In the meantime, I might have to put a muzzle on a puppy. Okay, see you later. Bye.